everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing Tesla. Tesla was the Stock Swoosh show play of the day in the room on Friday. And it was a very, very wild day for Tesla, I'll say that. And actually then after hours, let me just fix this here, um, it ended up rallying and flipping. It was up, it was down, it was all around the town. It was really a very wild day. Um, so let's just go over what happened here with this and why I liked it in the first place. Tesla closed on Thursday at 171.11 and it opened in the morning at 169.08. It was a nice trade. I mean, it was a nice gap. And it was a nice trade. But I wanted more out of it and I got stopped in the first trade. Now, let's go over here. I really should have just got it right out of this when I was up. It was a nice entry. We had a good move here in the morning and 90% of the people in the room actually did get out. So again, here's the one minute. Stock close here, gap down, rallied. We shorted it, got the drop. I just didn't get out. I just, I have no explanation for why I didn't exit this trade. It was a beautiful move. And again, I focus on fast trading. I just really, really thought it was gonna break 167. And I said in the room 165. I was right, I was right. It did actually go to 165. In fact, it went through 165. But I ended up getting stopped in this trade. I ended up rallying and I got stopped. Then I retook it. Then it finally got through 165. Again, it was right around the lunchtime period and went crazy, went all the way down pretty much to the dream target, almost to 160, went down to 160.50. And I had a big second trade in this in which I did an ad and then it fell late. But the funny thing was um, that I could have been done hours earlier. So again, I just really stuck to that number on Friday and I don't have any other explanation other than I really had conviction it was lower. I was right, but this was a lot easier to do as an option than it was as a day trade, I will say that for Friday. And then it, and then it went crazy. Then it had a big bar up. This is again, one minute chart. Again, this was just such a, such a wild day. Then it flipped. Again, we were short the stock in the morning. The short play was the play and was the right way to, to, to trade this on Friday. Then it fell, then it fell all the way down in here. Then it closed. And again, this is how it closed. And then, I, and then I had showed you earlier, after hours, it was gapping up on Friday night. I have no idea where this will be in the morning on Monday. Uh, again, here's where it was in the after hours, over 171. And you can see here it closed at 164.90. So it was really a wild day for Tesla. It was a wild day for the market, actually, Thursday and Friday, but this, this was a great play on Friday. So whether you got out of it fast, which I didn't do, or you took this stop, which is what I did, and retook it and did the ad and got the massive drop, either way, you made money on this Friday if you played this with me. Again, if you followed me to the letter, you did not get out when they had that morning drop and you got stopped, you retook it and you got the big move. If you got out in the morning, that was fine. Again, the fast move is most of the time in the morning that I do get out. I just really, really, really was holding on to that 165 number in the break and I was right. I for sure was right, but it had a big bounce then, gapped up after hours and we will see where it is on Monday morning. Good luck everyone and if you're interested in joining the Stocks with Show Live Trading Room, membership is only allowed to people who have taken my Golden Gap class, which is of course my class where I teach how I make the picks like Tesla. How did I know Tesla would fall on Friday? You know, how did I know that in the pre-market? I go through a process, it's a 26 point rating system and that's what you would learn in my Golden Gap class. I teach that class once a month, the class for April, you have plenty of time to join. It's not till April 27th and 28th, but I am starting to get people signing up for it now that wanna get in and wanna start trading and of course earnings season begins this week. So we're, we've, we've already seen now, just in the last few days, how much opportunity is going to be there in this market in this earnings season. Again, I prefer to short. I have no problem going long though, but I do prefer to short. And this was the play on Friday. It was the short in Tesla. So you could join, sign up for the class and start trading with us even before the class on the 27th and 28th and start making money before the class because it's earnings season. There's going to be a lot of gaps uh, this month. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.